I will read to you a passage in this book that I have said, my husband, my friend, one of the reasons that I continue to hold on, even when things seem to fall apart, is simple. Someone believes in me and cares enough to listen, to hold my hand, and to be there for me, regardless of circumstances. One woman recounting her 34 years of marriage. Because of this, we have tended to... A marriage that this relationship coach and now author of a book which reflects her journey after that promise. The bond of friendship. The vows made in church with her husband, Bob. Despite the hardships faced, they made it, she says, and three children and two grandchildren later. Shiro is a twin to Kamau here. They look back and appreciate the gift of matrimony. But for some... Failure to develop and maintain intimacy can be so costly as some couples find out. Listen to the following stories of despair. Kuna wakati aliniyabia, mtakuja kujua siku moja, hanaitu onani. Hazi juu isi kuyo ni shetani kani limuigiria. Yuni mutu tumekaa na yo wa 80 years. Natukona watoto watatu na ye. Stories of victims of domestic violence, men battered in their marriages, nothing written in this book, a different story, a different form of hardship. It is a book whose words touch on what many people go through in their marriages and unveils what most married couples go through in silence. And as the book Marriage Built to Last officially hits the shelves in Nairobi, the reality that more men are victims of domestic violence is a topic of discussion on a day that should be that of love. How do you abuse? You abuse emotionally, not just cutting with the pangas. Sometimes emotional abuse is actually worse than physical abuse because physical abuse is what you can see, but emotional abuse you cannot see. In life, and in more life. <laughs> the word was does not occur. And then they want to lead according to those vows of seeing the positive side of it. It is good to see the positive side. But in marriage sometimes the worst side also comes up. A discussion that touches on the 172 pages of this book. But the one reason why love could turn out to be this hour being the main topic of discussion. A new dawn is here. And guess what? The men are in a lot of trouble. Why? Because we empowered our daughters so much, they are so empowered economically, physically, emotionally, and you know what? Our sons are in a lot of trouble if we don't address that topic. Because if you start by battering somebody who's close to you, next time you're going to batter your neighbor and it goes on and on and on. <laughs> But for some men like Bob, luck has been on their side. Their journey through marriage can only be described as... We've walked a long journey with Jenny. She has written a lot or a bit more about uh, our marriage in the book. Tuesday and the streets of Nairobi are painted red, the color of love. But according to Nairobi Best Relationship Coach, marriage is not a bed of roses. <laughs> for those starting that journey, and with love in the air on Valentine's Day. The thought of domestic violence, they tell me, will not stop them from taking that road. The beginning of what could be a lifelong journey. When you smell it, it smells really nice. It's a beautiful. The truth is that flowers do wither. They dry and they die away. Relationships are like flowers. Judy Kosge, Citizen TV, Nairobi.